Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Hope you've had a great stand wherever you are. Um, I just uh, wanted to, to say hello. It was too rainy to, to do a live from the park today, unfortunately. Um, very thin on the ground <laughs> for standers um, up here. But um, yeah, I think um, when the weather improves, definitely more people will be inclined to join us um, and will be very welcome when they do so. So I've got a little quote here that I wanted to share. It's very pertinent, I think. It's by Larkin Rose and he says, stop thinking anyone has the right to rule you. Stop talking as if anyone has the right to rule you. Stop acting as if anyone has the right to rule you. And I think especially that last bit, stop acting as if anyone has the right to rule you because nobody, nobody has the right to rule you. We're self-governing. We've been conned, we've been scammed. Forget everything you've learned um, and ask yourselves why are the, the parasitic classes or parasitic class spending 24 7 throwing absolutely everything they can at us to try and gain control if we are these powerless weak little victims slaves why just stop and ask yourself when you're feeling the fear and feeling completely out of control that there's nothing that we can really do about any of this. No, who, who needs who here? It's time to seriously wake up to who we are, to what we really are. What is it? They're, they're so desperate. They are so desperate to keep us oppressed, suppressed. It's, it's the biggest con ever. And it's all about cheating us into believing that power lies uh, without us instead of within and they know this and this is what they are so so desperate to keep under wraps because the moment you embody your sovereignty that innate power it's done it's done so stop talking as if they have this control over you. Stop acting as if, stop believing, stop thinking it because that's the biggest um, aspect of the psycholog uh, psychological um, operation here. Exactly, Tom. They have no power other than what we give them. That's it, Rodney, look what's happening in China. Exactly. Perfect example. Perfect example of people handing over their power. Look at the number of people in China. Billions. And yet, look at what's happening. And it's all because people have, have taken on that belief that they're just a, a little cog, you know, in the machine and there's nothing that the individual can do when it's all down to the individual we all have a, a huge role to play and we're all doing you know doing things in different ways it's not that everyone should be doing exactly the same thing it's not about that it's where are you coming from what's your your energetic imprint and when you know absolutely Nobody has power over me. You're coming from a completely different standing. And they, they know that. They pick up on it. And I keep going on about this lately, being imperturbable. So it doesn't matter what threats, what's, what's levelled at you. It's water off a duck's back because who, who are these people or whatever they are? They have no power. And things become so much clearer. There's so much um, 
confusion in the mind and it's so difficult to, to get your head straight when you're in a state of anxiety and fear. And it, look, there's a reason that we really rail against this feeling um, curtailed and, and pushed down and, and oppressed. If that was our natural state of being, it would not feel uncomfortable. It's because we know it's going against what we truly are. We are the creators here. That's what they use. They've taken our ability, our innate God-given ability to create, to manifest into reality anything anything that we focus on, anything that we choose to, and that can be, and, and most often is, unconscious. They know, they've harnessed that, so they sow the seeds of dissent, they sow the seeds of lack, of competition, they tell us that this is what human beings are like, and blah, blah, and we, we just absorb it, and that's what we manifest into reality. And that's why the programming is so full on. It's so intense. It has to be because they know what they're up against here. And we we don't really understand our true power. Some do, but the vast majority don't. And most people feel, and it's understandable completely, given the absolute brainwashing, you know, it's on every level of of consciousness is through every level of society this this brainwashing this conning cheating lying um so people feel small they feel isolated they feel like it, it's you know a david and goliath situation but look who won there look who won um and this is what's going to turn things around, and I do believe it's happening. Um, people are having to step into that awareness of, oh, okay, I, I might not be able to seemingly control all of this craziness that's going on out there, but I can control how I respond to it. After a while, doesn't it just get to you to the point where you think fuck this um it's just not worth it feeling this level of stress and fear and anxiety every day do you know what fuck it I i'd rather die with my boots on you know i'd rather go down fighting i'd rather anything but this because it goes against the grain it goes against the grain in all of us Forget the ones that are going along meekly. They're, they're, they're like another another breed. Um, forget them. But what is it that really irks so much? It's because it's going against our, our um, true nature. And so harness that. Go with that. Step into your power. We're always having to overcome the fear overcome we just remember how much they are having to throw at us and it's still not working of course they'll keep plowing ahead with their agenda they can't stop because they are screwed um if they if they do well they're screwed either way in my opinion you know, whether it is now or in years to come or whatever, they cannot have what they want. They can't win. But they have to keep going. That's all they can do is keep going, keep going. Um, what goes against the grain, Corin? Um, that feeling of, yeah, of being bullied, of being oppressed, of being made to feel like a victim, being made to feel at the mercy of these outer forces it that goes against the grain in in us who are standing up to this because that goes against what we know we are inside whether that's a conscious thing or unconscious it it grates and we resent it because our true nature is is pure freedom 
forget the the piffling little freedom that they they've allowed us to believe it is freedom with all these you know the endless rules and regulations and this is what you can do this is where you can go you need blah 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 no this is way way beyond that because the the, the so-called laws that they try and enforce the things that they're putting in place no 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 you answer to something far far greater than that we all do and it's all just a gigantic con. They've just pulled the wool over our eyes. We, because we go along with it, we believe it. It's then manifested into our reality. And, and if it goes unquestioned, that becomes the, the so-called normal. Uh, but it's all down to us. The moment we just pull back, no... They are absolutely dependent on us. They are parasites and we've got to stop feeding them. It's as simple as that. Just remember, every time you're getting bombarded from every possible direction, it, it reeks of desperation. They wouldn't need to be doing all of this and they certainly wouldn't be, uh, need to be hiding in the shadows and dressing things up as something else to fool us if it was the the natural state of things absolutely not they're having to do that because it's always deception from their standpoint they have to deceive because knowing the truth that's it it's game over so yeah i just um it really resonated with me. I think, you know, a lot of us, um, we, we, we know what's happening. We, we see, um, the power grab and, but there's, uh, there's still that belief that they have that power in the first place. And we need to be really getting to grips with, um, our, our innate power where, what, what's actually going on here? This, this, tug of war which is actually one-sided because we don't need to fight anything all we do is withdraw our consent that's what it is we're consenting to all of this and it's finished it's and we are unstoppable creators it cannot be stopped it's what we are it's what we're made of it's in our fabric along with everything else in, in the cosmos. It can't be stopped. It's just all they can do is try and manoeuvre it to benefit them. And we're seeing just the, the number of ways that they're having to keep this going, keep it going, keep the deception going, keep us um, in ignorance of our own true power. And that's how this goes along but the moment somebody awakes and realizes and it's going to happen more and more because the worse things get on, on in the material world the more you know knowing that okay we're living these lives and we're here for a certain time is it worth it who wants to live like that sod it i'm not gonna you know, what, hang around to, to get to 100 in abject poverty and misery and dependence on, on a corrupt, controlling, parasitic class of, of, of people. It's not worth it. Survival at any cost. And again, that's what they've conditioned us into believing. It's to be absolutely so petrified of of death that people will cling on to to a life that is no life at all just to avoid it no and i i do unfortunately it seems to be the way of things that have things have to get very 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 bad before people are pushed into these realizations but when they are it's it's finished it's the death throes. It might not look like it and it might be a long time coming still, but these are the death throes. 
um, the the Great Awakening is a real thing. It is happening. They know that, and they just desperately keep trying. And uh, but just have faith. You know, no matter there's something within you, or it's what we're all made of that cannot be harmed ever. It doesn't matter what happens to the body. Forget all that. Your absolute essence, your beingness, cannot ever, ever be harmed, threatened, destroyed. It can't be reached. There's just that belief that's been peddled um, that we need to be kept safe at, at all times. Um, and, and once that is let go of, the sky's the limit. And the world that we can live in, let's vision it into being, people. It's all within us. It's what we can see it. We know. We know those things that we want to be experiencing while we're here for however long we are. We know. And it's down to us to put our focus wholly on there. We know what they're up to. We don't need to keep watching every little bit of news that oh they're doing this now they're doing that bring it on bring it on because when we stand together and we've got that common goal you know to to live in a beautiful place I mean just look around you just get out into the countryside my god this this place we're living in is absolute it is heaven on earth and all that they do is try and skew your mind so you can't see that. So that's it from me. Have a lovely rest of the day. Lovely evening. Happy May Day. Happy bank holiday to people. I think we all get those, don't we? Um, but yeah, have, have a, a great rest of the weekend. And I will catch up with you soon. Sending lots of love. Peace.